Hey guys. So today I wanted to take a look at the ball screws for the Precision Matthew 727 CNC conversion. I ordered these ball screws from uh, Che over at Linear Motion Bearings 2008. Uh, he's an eBay seller. I ordered uh, several sets of ball screws from him. He does a really great job. Uh, really prompt on getting uh, your stuff shipped to you. And the machining, uh, he does a real good job machining. They're packaged fairly well and uh, can be a little difficult to get out of here. All right, well, finally got them out of the package. Um, these, I decided to go with uh, 2005 series ball screws for the Precision Matthews. Uh, I know a lot of people go with the 1605s for their G0704. But I just thought with this build, I wanted something a little bit more substantial. And these are quite a bit bigger than the 1605 series. Uh, as you can see, these are double nut ball screws. And I went with the double nut versus the single nut. Let me see if I have a... Here is a 1605. You can kind of get a comparison of the two here. Uh, quite a bit bigger on the 2005 versus the 1605. Uh, you can kind of see it's a uh, definitely quite a bit bigger in uh, overall size. And I wanted to go with the bigger, beefier size um, because this is a bigger meal. Now he's got the uh, Zerk fittings taped on here and uh, gave me a couple of extra jam nuts. Now one thing about these <coughs> uh, ball screws, the threads that come on your standard end machining is a a 1.0 millimeter pitch and that's a very uh, fine very rare thread and so you'll have a hard time trying to find a nut anywhere for that so make sure that when you order the ball screws that you also order the nuts uh, I'm not going to unwrap these but I'm not going to unwrap them all but very nice and you can see that these are very fine threading so what I did was uh, I just got him to send me the nuts the jam nuts to go with it now these are the square nuts uh, he has sent me just regular octagonal regular nuts before in the past uh, very nice he does a real good job um, he's been doing it a long time he's been selling on eBay a long time stuff from but do make sure that you get your nuts to go on there uh, I'll post a, a drawing of my ball screw dimensions I did have my ends machined and to my specs and of course the links you can see he does a real nice job on the ends here this is my y-axis ball screw and my Z yeah really nice really good job and then of course my uh, x-axis now on the x-axis I do have both ends machined um, 
my end's not going to float. It's going to be in a bearing on the other end as well as the driven end. So I had to machine both ends of my ball screws. And uh, turned out really nice. Very satisfied with the work that he does. So, like I said, these are 2005 uh, RM2005 ball screws. They're double nut. Now, you might ask why I go with uh, double nut. A lot of people try to do this on their own. They put like Bellevilles in here and push these apart to uh, try to compensate for any of the backlash. And they started coming out with these. Uh, and when you do it yourself they're kind of tight but these feel really good and these what he's done is he's taken and put these spacers in here and he's ground these spacers to give you just the right amount of pressure and hopefully the results will be uh, more accuracy and less backlash I could have went with just a single ball nut uh, like I did with the X2 or the G0602. However, these weren't that much more expensive. I paid, I think, $200 for these three ball screws machined to my specs. And I'm not sure what I paid for the nuts. It's not wasn't that much more, maybe $16 or something, or $8. I can't remember. Um, but definitely get the extra jam nuts. Because if you don't, you end up having to order them. And the only place you can get them is wherever they sell metric stuff. And I think I had to get mine from like Great Britain or I forgot exactly where they came from. But it was definitely, it cost me like $30 to get eight jam nuts for my G0602. Now you can have, you can have G, uh, thread it. To a different size that's what I did with my X2 I had him thread I just had him thread my ball screws to a standard a standard metric thread and then I just bought nuts online but it's easier just to have him supply you with the nuts now bearings I ordered my bearings for my ball screws from uh, VXB bearings and I'm using angular contact bearings for my axis you can see they're not packed with grease they're not sealed I'll pack some grease in there once I assemble them um, and I'm using these bearings versus uh, the sealed type radial bearings and the radial bearings are made to put pressure on the radius like this and these are made to put back to back I'm not sure which direction they're supposed to go but they're made to put back to back and then when you squeeze them it actually puts tension on there and takes out some of the backlash so I went with these and uh, nice fit on there he did a real good job the bearings slide right on don't have to worry about oh yeah very nice so the bearings will go on there like so I'll have a spacer I'll have a spacer in between and then the jam nut will go on It'll be something kind of like this. And there'll be a spacer in between. And then my two jam nuts will screw on. And this will slide into my bearing housing. And that should be really good. Should be really good. Uh, and work just fine. Like I said, these are REM2005. And they're a 5 millimeter pitch. And they're just a little bit thicker and a little bit beefier, and I think it'll give me a little bit more. Uh, for the bigger meal, you need something a little bit bigger. 
So that's just a quick look at our ball screws and our angular contact bearings that we'll be using for our conversion. So we're going to start working on our mount. Now these are C7 grade ball screws. Uh, they are rolled ball screws uh, and that just is talking about the way these grooves are formed. Uh, the more expensive C3 grade ball screws are precision ground. I just didn't feel like though that was necessary for my particular build. They are quite a bit more expensive. Uh, you know, you're talking several hundred dollars for each ball screw. And that's just not in the budget for most people. I did, I have had good results with these C7 ball screws on my G0602 and my X2. Uh, you will see some of these that are C5 and they're quite a bit more expensive. So if you're looking for ball screws on the internet, eBay, where have you, uh, if you see a huge difference in prices, it's probably because of the different grade uh, ball screws that are available on the web. So make sure you take that into uh, account. I'm really excited to get these things uh, mounted and get them installed. So stay tuned for that in the upcoming videos. I'm going to do, I would like to do stepper mounts from A to Z. How I go about taking my measurements, uh, designing, fabricating my mounts for each particular axis. Uh, I think that's going to provide a lot of detailed information. For Just give me some feedback on that. Let me know what exactly you're looking for. I like to share the information that I've learned. Uh, I'm, I'm learning every day. Uh, some things I'm good at and some things I, I just don't know. But I try to share the knowledge that I have and I want to do that as I start making the stepper mounts as well. So please let me know what you're, uh, what you're looking for, what will be helpful and useful to you with your builds and I'll try to include that in the videos. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.